Okay, so the video is being called Demons and Spiritual Warfare. So a lot of individuals are, you know, tripping off of certain things. I'm going to wait for you individuals to come in here first, you know. Wait for everybody to come in here. Make sure you tell individuals to like this video. Make sure you like this video. Y'all find this interesting, you know. I don't really share knowledge like this on here anymore. I avoid these type of conversations. But yeah, I believe it should be talked about. Um, they're not sending out any notifications. What's up, SSDA? What's up, bro? Like and sub. Yeah, tell them, Destin Savage. Damn, my phone about to die. Well, hold this hill and watch it back. <laughs> Trolls already disliking the... Oh, really? Oh, really, though? Let me check it out. Hold on. I might do this shit over just because of that. I'm glad. I'm glad they doing shit like that with they lame asses, you know? Niggas don't want me to drop knowledge and shit. Y'all chill, bro. Man, fuck it. I'm in here, bro. <laughs> Fake ass accounts, man. They trying to throw me off what I'm trying to talk about. You know, obviously. Oh, that's just one dislike. Man, you made it seem like it's a bunch of niggas. But, um, nah, bro, y'all in here. Jay living it. What's up, Pac-Man? What's up? Don Ali. What's up, Doran Jackson? Back in this bitch like I left my car keys. Like you left your iPhone, nigga. Like you left your, your iPhone at our house party. And you back in this month. <laughs> But nah, bro. Alright, so. The demon conversation. You know, a lot of individuals gonna miss out on this. You know, they running in here. But you know, I really wanted to talk about this XXX Tentacion situation. A lot of y'all don't understand, man. The XXX Tentacion situation. It's really like, you know, it, it's deeper than what it is. Regardless of if, you know, they, they found those quote-unquote killers. You feel me? You know, they supposedly showing money on the gram after hitting a lick on them. I got a lot of things I can dwell into with that, but it all has a connection. Is it, has anybody listened to the KP interview and the blacklist? Has anybody from the boy they call Baby Shiva, or he calls himself Baby Shiva, his SoundCloud rap name? I didn't find none of his music on YouTube. But not a dumb individual. Especially when talking about these spirits. I knew that he wasn't a dummy. Just from the conversation alone. And when he talked about a blacklist and the individuals that you know are supposed to be on it. I wasn't surprised. But what I did notice is this, man. You know, a lot of y'all don't know where demons come from. Daemon, you feel me? D-A-E-M-O-N. That's from Greek. They were just spiritual guidance, you feel me? But as I've said before, they are the people in the gray area. As I said, they don't like humans. They do not like humans, but for a good reason. Because imagine there's individuals that can do things for you. You summon these individuals. You ask them to do things for you. You don't want to know nothing about these individuals with these powers. You don't want to know nothing about them. You don't care nothing about them. So they see humans as like evil. When you want to do evil to people, when you want power and take and cause harm to people, that's what they see y'all do when y'all get that power. When humans get that power, they want to harm other humans. And they want to just inflict pain and do all of this evil stuff. So these demons, they stop being, you know, as friendly as they used to because these are eternal individuals in the, in the gray area. These are internal individuals in this gray area, by the way. I want y'all to know this. But they don't like what y'all be doing. They do not like that shit at all. So that's why they come across as evil. And I'm going to say something else too. A lot of y'all don't understand. Buddhist monks. Those people of just high meditative auras. Supreme auras. They transfer demons. They turn them into Buddhists. They convert them. See, when you summon these individuals, you are as, an, as a, you know, just regular individual. They don't know you. They don't know your spiritual presence. They don't know you at all. So they immediately say, why are you summoning me? You feel me? Summoning me. 
Why are you calling me? I do not know you. I don't know you. Why are you calling me? But for a Buddhist monk, they respect him because those individuals spend 20, 10, like, whole, damn near their whole life alone and just sometimes not speaking and just meditating, a majority of the day meditating. And they have a level of respect for those individuals just because of their aura alone. And they also, you know, the um, the Buddhist teachings of really just Taoism or all of that. Taoism, my bad, Taoism. Those individuals, they respect them because of, you know, just being in the astral world, completing the, um, what do they call them? The sutras, completing the sutras, the things that they have set up to advance in the spiritual realm. They pass them off, so they become a supreme individual in that realm. They respect that they turn those demons over into becoming Buddhists. Y'all might not believe that. But it, it's that's why in China it's a certain type of frequency. You don't really hear about all that type of spooky shit that they bring down here in America because or just in Haiti and South Benin, you know, just all of those places. South Africa, Benin, West Benin, I think it's South Benin. South Africa in Benin. That's what it is, my bad. But you know, a lot of them don't have that that presence. And that's why in Haiti, the people that do they call on the um, you know, the the um Buddhist priests. They call on the Haitian Buddhist priests. Like when Bill and Hillary, when they want something summoned, they go to the Haitian Voodoo priests. Look it up if I'm lying. Look that up. They have to call high individuals, you feel me, that have spent their whole life doing things like that. So let me get into this XX Extentaton shit. Stick nah, think the ah, fuck dude name, bro. Fuck dude name. But this ex situation. Him having beefing with individuals, he's done some things. The exorcism, we saw that. The girl Geneva, you feel me? Oh, her her um her Instagram name is Liar. At L I A R. You feel me? And you see her bathing in blood and taking pictures and stuff like that. They're deep into all of that, you feel me? I mean, you know, they were fucking around with that magic. I don't think, dude, the way X, you know, just executed the things that he did, bro, especially when it comes to his music or just the things that he talks about, it's not really that deep. It's not really that deep. So I don't think that he was that deep in magic because he would have been speaking on things on a higher level than what he was, way higher. I think he was just one of them that just rushed in, you feel me? Satan is the father of lies. You don't know who Satan is, Bel Kamiabo. You don't know who Satan is. Did nobody in here mention no Satan? Nobody. See, this is why I don't like individuals coming on my comment section, like, especially if it's a video called Demons of Spiritual Warfare. At least know the basics or just really the, the kind of advance. Please don't come in with that. Satan is the father of lies. Shit. Nobody in here mentioned Satan. You have no idea why they use blood as a rich. You just saying that because it sounds crazy. Because it sounds like something Satan do. Mitch, tell me a time where Satan asked for blood on all over your body in the Bible. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me when he asked for blood all over your body in the Bible. No, he didn't. But I can tell you a time where God asked for somebody to be sacrificed for him. I can show you that. Come on now. Stop talking about this, bro. Stop, please, throwing me off with this religious bullshit. Not even understanding it for real. Man, man, man. But regardless of that, X dealing with those spirits and probably pissing some people off, it has resulted in something, you feel me? And if individuals are fucking with spirits, these spirits do things for you. They do things for you. Like... Let's say, for instance, I, I hate saying shit like this, bro. Niggas out here foul, bro. I don't fuck with them spirits. I don't. I don't. I call on myself. I don't call on anything outside of myself, but I do with the elements. But not on the, in the sense of an individual in the gray area. I don't call on them. I don't summon them. I summon myself. But a lot of those individuals, they call on that gray area. So 
they'll tell them like let's say you know these people they require you know some type of sacrifice or some type of giving you feel me some type of giving you believe in satan but not in god you talking to me bro you talking to me young jonah please don't i'm ignoring what y'all saying i mean i'm ignoring everything <laughs> they require for you know some baby leg or some blood to be spilled or something like that or certain symbol to be called they all have symbols in which you can call them demonic entities will derive their power from what then you don't know what a demon is you don't know what a demon is demonic entities you don't see look man i, I just don't get y'all don't understand i just told y'all at the beginning of this video look up where demon comes from d-a-e-m-o-n daemon that's from greek Go look at back then. They never mentioned nothing evil of harming individuals. It wasn't up until recently with a bunch of other, you know, people fucking with shit that them things start doing things for harm because people started, you know, realizing that they can do that. The greed of human, the ego of human. Humans are the reason. They, they're, they're summoned. They're summoned and they ask for a bond, for a type of a pact. They will ask for your name and blood. And for the time being, that spirit in the, in the gray area will have your soul. But he'll do whatever you ask for him. you say, go harm this individual. Be like, And the, the, sometimes the demon will tell them, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I'll do this because you said to. This is wrong. You shouldn't do this. Y'all niggas don't even understand, bro. It be the humans doing that shit. So when it's all said and done and the pack is over with, the spirit ends up putting harm on that sorcerer anyways. Just because. He didn't fuck with him. You gotta think, these individuals have personalities too. They have a whole universe in here. They have a whole universe between us and, you know, just this reality of us and the universe or the elements all together. The L, basically. They have their own world. It's a job for them. They're like contractors. They have the powers. So, let's say an individual says harm somebody. They can make it happen anyway. So, you telling me these individuals that killed X were um, Haitian? Are you serious? Haitian. Haitians aren't Christian. They don't, you know, align themselves with Christianity. A majority of them. Especially in Florida. Haiti right there. The islands right there. So, these individuals end up killing him. Some Haitians. You know, spiritual mercenaries. Thank you. More than one way. More than one way. Just look at the etymology of demon. You're speaking facts as usual. Come on now, Andy Nicole. I don't sit on here and lie. I don't sit on here and lie. The Americans have changed this shit to something else. But that's through, you know, um, the European ages of the witch hunts from back then. Because they were illiterate back then. Before the Moors came. It was doing all that shit, witch hunting and all that shit. It was doing that because they didn't understand it. They didn't want to. They didn't want to. Bro, the man they accused of murder did my friend's tattoo. Crazy. I could imagine. Different realities on some upside down type shit. Look, as above, so below. What's done on earth is done in the universe. So whatever can be done here can be done there as well. Look, bro, Socrates, Socrates from Greek folk folklore, he had a demon he talked to that helped him. It wasn't an evil one. It wasn't no um, spawn of Satan. They saw them as good demons and bad demons. They saw them. He helped him with his work. He told him things like helped him. Just like this is the evil part of it. Aleister Crowley, he had a demon he talked to. Didn't Hitler have something he drew that he talked to as well? Things that y'all would call demons now. Some little entity, some little grays. Again, for, clar for clarification, who empowers the demons? The same people that empower us. Elements. The L. Elements. Go look up L. E-L. Look up the God L. Please do deep research on that and see where your religion comes from. If you're Christian, go look it up. Yahweh equals L. E-L-A-L. 
differentiations between them really the same thing, just like Satan and Yahweh, Yeshua, is God. God equals L of this universe. The elements, elementary school, E L. They put their they put that shit there for a reason. From chemical, alchemy. I mean, come on now. Just know that Nazis known for using black magic in World War II. We know, just like Soviet Union was. All of these individuals had, you know, their certain cults. Even America has them to this day. You have street level ones, your underground ones, the ones X was fucking with, in my opinion, the ones X was fucking with. Or if, you know, just Drake had knowledge of this because he's into Kabbalism as well. Kabbalism. A lot of these individuals that dabble with this, they don't just put it out there in the mainstream for y'all to research. I was always thinking about how all these old philosophers got their knowledge. Come on now, man. They were talking to something. Hitler had a pet alligator named Saturn. I'm not surprised. So as Stalin, nigga used magicians. Of course, the whole Soviet Union was full of electricity. Facts. Electricity, bro. Spell, yeah. Come on now, bro. Tell her, look it up. Don't tell her. Wonder Woman has some subliminal message in it. It refers to God as Zeus and Satan as Ares. ACK, newcomers. Tell the newcomers about CERN. CERN uses those entities. That's the advanced level of just black magic. That's basically what it is. You're performing these Mandela effects and shit. That's where it's coming from. Them using their power to the extreme. You saw Shiva out there in front of the CERN building. They got Shiva out front. With all of the circles around. You feel me? The revolving, you know, circles. Like an atom. She's inside of an atom, basically. They got Shiva out front of the building, building, you feel me? Basically, they telling y'all what they doing. They not hiding it. Stalin had beef with Crowley because he thought he was the son of Satan. Tell them about D-Wave. D-Wave, tell them look into it, bro. Niggas perform rituals outside of CERN, and that's on camera. Niggas perform rituals outside of CERN. They got caught doing rituals outside of CERN. Ark of the Covenant is the Egyptian Ark of the Covenant contract we know just like the you know 10 commandments of god is actually you know the 48 laws of Maat. we know i mean hey you know they should know the cern logo got th the sixes in it too i know but how do these demons choose these individuals or do the individuals reach out to the otherworldly powers they reach out to them through symbolism each demon has a symbol you have older demons you have younger ones they call on them by their symbols. The pentagrams, certain um, elements that you put on the ground. You feel me? Certain incense you burn. And you certain chants that you name as well. Certain chants. That's how they get them out there. That's how they get them out there. Of course, they won't know you. Humans call on them. And this is something that's been, you know, passed down. This is something that's been passed down. You feel me? Like, even from Kemet. This is where it comes from. Kemet, the original one of messing with these entities. Your pharaohs and stuff. This is how they called on them. And that, you know, knowledge went underground. Uncle on my father's side, well, they do a lot of voodoo and dark magic. Rituals and symbols bring out the demons. Just like, you know... Tell somebody, look up. Cymatics, you feel me? Tell somebody, look up cymatics. And see how frequencies bring out symbols. See how frequencies bring out symbols. So when they tell you to say a certain fre a chant to bring out a certain entity, that's the same way that a frequency creates a symbol. Come on now, man. Come on now. And that's done with the air, with the salt, with the elements. Couldn't humans become demons after death? Humans become ghosts. It depends on where your spirit is aligned to, bro. Couldn't, couldn't humans become demons? That's why they forced them on us, Jenny X. Big demons have legions of small ones. Of course, they run in crews sometimes. You call on the leaders. That's what they do. 
Bro, some of my family members from my mom's side was fucking with witches and black magic. The spirits turned on my great grandmother. She died a slow death. She was, she, I, I, I don't want to say it, but she was probably messing with some, you know, calling, doing some, hey, black magic. That's what it is. It's black magic. Way too woke, bro. Hey, man, niggas got on here wanting me to talk some shit. Got on here. <laughs> The reason I ask that question is because some people reach out to these demons and sometimes they don't respond at all. Hey, man, they probably got some bad information. That's why music's so addictive, because of the frequencies. Yeah, damn, what are a few alignments a spirit could link to, CK? A few alignments? Sometimes, you know, like as a child, there are children born with certain... Yes, 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 I need to stop reading y'all comments, bro. As a child, you know, children have their third eye open automatically. It's it's on a higher frequency than other individuals. I'm talking about like newborn babies. Newborn babies have a frequency, you feel me, just of, of seeing. Because they just left the universe. They just left the universe. They just left the matrix by being in the womb. So they still have that aura around them. Matrix literally equals uterus. Uterus. Or womb. Look up the etymology for matrix. If you think I'm lying. Bro, this nigga trolling in my comment section, I think. If they turn on you, you stink. Go vegan. They're your ancestor. Get this nigga out of here, bro. This nigga trolling. But yeah, dogs and cats also have frequencies as well of, of understanding that shit to another level. That's why when they have entities around them, they're alert. Your dog start barking for no reason. Your cat moving around, running up on things, or just standing up, looking. Those type of things, they're aware of a spirit. Babies used to, I mean, my father told me when I was looking at, you know, when we stayed in the house one time, when I was at least like three years old, he told me the story later on, like, hey, man, we moved into this apartment, and you were saying you were seeing things. And then he said, you know, uh, we was hearing noises. You were screaming and crying that night. And I don't remember none of this. This is just him telling me later. And he said, we moved out of there. You know, I heard something fall and I seen something too. So I grabbed my gun and all this. And I'm like, oh, shit. But he said he moved out. But then when he moved out, he had heard that two weeks before there was a triple homicide in the um, apartment. So, you know, and the, you know, the buyer didn't tell him. You know, the seller didn't tell him about it. You feel me? So, you know. Certain kids have that frequency, you know. It's there. I believe that too. Dogs are just aware as humans. That's why dogs can see spirits. Is this stream staying up? Call me Neo the way I be shooting up my girl's matrix. Hey, put that in a verse, my nigga. Do you think science will advance far enough for the regular person to actually see entities, though? Science is nothing to do with that shit, bro. Do you not see that they got shadows of that shit already, bro? CK, that shit real. Some spooky shit you were seeing. You know? Yes, this stream is staying up. Most animals, I'm not even finna mention what bro was saying. Like, science is catching up to what the sorcerers have been saying for centuries. Science is catching up to what they're saying. The quantum experiment with the double slot theory, that's what the sorcerers have been saying for decades. Really, centuries. Most animals have spiritual essences to them. It depends on the animal kingdom and your energy to manifest to notice. That's why Egyptians had that. What cat? What type of cat did they have? Why do you think they cared about that? Why do you think they had that around them? Until this day, I think that cat is still expensive. Ain't that right? That cat is still expensive. The beer is cat. I just realized, college, you really got a hitters on here that would clap you to the shadow realm. Damn, nah, that was me that clapped them. See, thermal cameras sometimes catch spirits. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Sphinx. Sphinx, a mere cat. The house I lived by and was sold to me by a contractor whose dad died in the house. He be protecting my ass. He cool as fuck. I could imagine. Persian cat just gone. Yes. 
Isn't that the reason why animals or babies can see spirits because their souls are pure? I don't know what he say. Isn't the reason why animals and babies can see spirits is because their souls is pure? Uh, I wouldn't say all animals are pure, bro. <laughs> Some are naturally savage to eat the hell out of you. Beerus is a sphinx cat. Okay, then. That's what I meant. Magic and religion, low-key synonymous. No, they're totally different. Totally different. Magic is upfront. Religion is subliminal. Religion is metaphorical. When you talk the breaking point hit from DMT, you can meet entities. It's crazy, bro. People have sport stories about smoking DMT and talking to talking owls like Minerva, Malak. You feel me? Those individuals. I'm talking about individuals that knew nothing about it. Knew nothing about, you know, esoteric history or just, um, you know, things of the past and just all of that. Niggas talking to talking snakes and shit. Yeah, it's called a breakthrough. You have them breaking down the walls of reality and seeing their whole four walls turn into nothing but symbols. Being nothing but symbols. Soon as I know this beer, so I knew DB was on that shit. CK broke it down a while ago, too. Religion is division. Yeah. I have a book called Dark Light Consciousness. Black Psychologist Talks Melanin, Serpent Power, and a, and a Luminous Matrix of Reality. Acid and shrooms can ha help you see through reality. You're going to have motherfuckers out here fucked up thinking they're a, a glass of orange juice talking about some acid, nigga. You're going to have them thinking they're a glass of orange juice. You know what I'm saying? DMT, too. I have a permanent trip. Real shit. But, yeah. You know, it can happen anyway. Those spirits can put thoughts in an individual's mind who is gullible and be like, you know what, kill him. You know what, see him. Them niggas could have been rolling down the street, you feel me? Them niggas that kill X could have just been rolling down the street and that demon's put it in his head like, you know what, turn. Turn. Turn right here. Notice this. And it'll just be subconscious and they just put it in their mind and they don't even know why they did the shit, you feel me? It's a nigga that had... You know, tattoo shop, you feel me? He had a living. He could have been making a living. He was good. You didn't have to kill that nigga, but hey, you know, the spirits told him to do it. Maybe it's something with his family line, you feel me? Maybe his grandparents or somebody had left it to where they can connect to him. It's all type of things with this magic shit that y'all just don't know about. So, shit that they can do. It depends on the mindset that you have while taking it. Everything you see is coded energy. Yeah. It's all perspectives. Man, this is just how this shit works sometimes, bro. Once Kodak and his brother was arrested, it was over for XXX. They was Haitian. And they was some Haitian Zos. Blood depths. Yes, blood depths. That man did not kill XXX. Well, how do you know? I mean, I know he was the driver, but I'm saying. I know he was the driver. What you just said reminded me of some type of deep mind control. They used spirits during the LSD, during the whole 1970s and 60s. They were experimenting on them individuals um, in the military. They were using their own troops to try LSD on, to fuck with their heads. And they were seeing all these demons and entities and talking to them. Even schizophrenic individuals are closer to, you know, entities. Sometimes they feel sorry for those individuals and they help them out. Pointing them to things. Did you hear Master P calling out fake rappers showing fake love? Of course I did. Master P saw through it since the beginning. That whole Kanye thing was the fakest shit ever, as I've said before. That's some fake ass shit, Kanye. Some of the fakest shit ever. Yeah, that's when they were testing MK Ultra too. Yeah, that's what I was talking about with the LSD. That's what it was. To see how does this shit control them and what do they see. You know? But Master P showing fake I mean, you know, telling them about the fake love. Here we go with this loyal money TV nigga. Like I said, none of them in the car did it. So they the fall guys basically. I know that I mean I, you know, I was gonna talk about a theory of that. Did you see Denzel Curry call out Kanye? No, I didn't. 
But you know what? Niggas should call out Kanye because they was, you know, Kanye had the chance to reach out to X. If he inspired you, why the fuck you wait till he did? Because, because he what? Because he was aligned with this and Drake and you still wanted that old Watch the Throne 2 to happen? You want to watch the Throne 2 to happen or that collab album with Drake to happen so you didn't want to mess with his enemies? Come on, Kanye. Come on, Kanye. Don't talk about just left it. You should have just left the shit alone, bro. You should have just left the shit alone. Not said nothing. You shouldn't have said all right, Pete. You know what I'm saying? They got the most co- most Kodak-looking dude and arrested them. <laughs> I could imagine. I could imagine, bro. It's the connection. But you know what? You know what trips me out about this, man? If it's the fall, guys, it's, as I've said before, street niggas just pulling up on you. Hit you three times on the right side of your neck. Like, if the witness said that he stood, if X got out the car, then why the fuck was he in the car slumped with a seatbelt on him, bro? You know what I'm saying? I think the seatbelt was on him if I didn't see it. If I saw that correctly. So, you telling me these regular ass niggas, bro, stop, Greek Neek, stop spamming the chat with this old comment shit, bro. I'm gonna fuck around. Get you out of here. Not gonna lie. I think X started the short album wave. That's probably where Kanye was inspired from. And that's why Kanye taking all these fucking L's, bro. And that's probably why Kanye taking all these fucking L's recently. Short ass albums. That shit, you know, hey. The whole X did suspect too many coincidences. Hey, shit, wild. If he was distracted by fans, where were they? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Dude said he was across the street or, or somewhere near it. You know? It's suspicious. But regardless of it all, y'all like the vid or not? Nah? Yeah, please tell these niggas did they like the vid or not. But I just want you individuals to do research. This video ain't supposed to be that long. I'm gonna be getting up out of here real soon. You know? But yeah. You know, it's It's strange. Very strange. He died on the 18th. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. Quite possible. Makes sense. 8 plus 1 equals 9. Oh, somebody had asked me about the um, the Naga Serpent energy. Naga Serpent energy. Basically, like, the reason that they use the snake as a symbol is because, not because of reptilian shit. It could also be a thing, you know. But the reason that they use the snake so much is because the snake sheds his skin. You know? Majority of them, you know, just move at a vibration. Sine and cosine. That's how they move. Sine and cosine. They move as a vibration. Without arms and legs. Hands and feet. Use their whole body. They move as one. You feel me? They move as one unit. It's a lot they use with the serpent, you know. That that's why they use animals as things. That's why they use animal animals as symbols, like the owl Murnock. That means being aware at all times, because the owl can turn its head all the way around and look by itself without even moving, like you know its feet or its waist, just the whole neck turning around and its eyes being able to see in, at night. The owl seeing in the dark. You feel me? The hawk is on us because it's a hunter. They use hawks, you feel me? Yeah, reincarnation. And lizard brain frequency. Yes, the R complex. Snakes don't have ears, so they use vibration to find prey. Facts. Facts. Goats and all. Yeah. I believe humans really only need to eat like once a week. Like the serpent only feeds once a month. Nah, serpents don't exert as much as we do. They have skin that protects them from dehydration on the level of a human. You have scales, but not on the form, not in the way that they do. Don't they sense heat with their tongue? Yes. 
Reincarnation of snake sheds. Yes. The snake also represents the spinal cord to the brain or pineal. It's not next level shit. This is old shit. That's what I'm saying. Tell him try that shit. Tell him try to eat once a week, bro. God damn, nigga. I mean, hell, it is possible. I ain't gonna front. You could just sit in front of a tree and meditate. I believe it is possible. I'm not gonna front. I believe that shit is possible to eat once a week and just survive. Most definitely. But if you're gonna sit in front of a tree, this is America, my nigga. You try to sit in front of a park tree, eat once a week, you feel me? Like you eat on Monday. Nigga, by um, Tuesday Tuesday afternoon, nigga, the fucking police gonna be out there. Hey, man, you gotta get up out of here, man. You gotta get up out of here. <laughs> FBI, open up. <laughs> Bullshit. You can with water. Yeah. Man. I've heard. Look at the palm of your hand. It, it looks like snake skin. We know we have skills. We have a lot of the um, DNA that is also connected to a lot of the animals on this earth insects and all ramadan sounds crazy though yeah but i feel as if the human body is a hybrid of different animals that have connection to the spiritual world i just spoke on that bro gonna be looking like the walking dead with your hungry ass niggas gonna be looking at you like crazy kodak claims israelite kodak don't know what the hell he is bro kodak is looking for acceptance nigga Speak Codex Gigas. I mean, eating once a week. Next level shit. I know what you're saying, bro. I, I, I talked about that. I believe a lot of things are controlled by spirits and people don't even know it through different connections because think about it. They saying some, something told me to do it, of course, but not all the time. It's their ego. They lower self. You have a, a triangle within you. You feel me? You have a hierarchy within yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You better understand who you are, bro. You really have all four elements. You know, they, that's what the 444 is, bro. 444. Jay-Z was telling y'all something, but that's what put that nigga in danger. But a lot of y'all don't get it. Y'all really don't. You know? I could speak on something. But yeah, man, make sure y'all like this video. I'm not going to make this video too long. That being said, I'm going to like, comment, dislike. Peace.